Hello everyone, and welcome to another devlog for Bottled Sky, my top-down action exploration game set in space. I've been quite busy this month, and much of my time has been spent on things outside of the game, like traveling halfway around the world, so I'll keep this video on the shorter side. I spent the last nine months in Sweden with our publisher, but now I'm back home, and I personally won't have as much time to work on the game until I can go back. However, the rest of my team is still over there, so art assets and sound effects are still being made regardless. My own contributions this month have been minimal, mainly just bug fixing and adding any new assets made by the rest of the team, like the thrust of visual effects here. Instead of talking about stuff we've made, I'd like to talk about some of the broader game design goals of Bottled Sky that don't really come across in these videos. So first off, if you've been watching this series, then you will have noticed most of the footage in these videos are of flying around some borderless space with asteroids floating around. You can drill those asteroids, and sometimes a hostile NPC appears, and you can fight them in the same way. Something that I've not talked much about is the planned structure of the game. From what I've shown off already, it seems like a bit of a sandbox, but that's more of a consequence of creating content without yet providing a structure for that content. The term sandbox is inaccurate, as the game will always provide you with goals and you cannot alter much of what you see, but the world is very open and will remain borderless. I've also been hesitant to use the term open world, because while there are plenty of activities you can attempt almost any time you want, you will always be encouraged to return to a central point in the game world. I might have mentioned the words central hub or guild before, which is that place you would be repeatedly returning to between your trips to outer space. Thematically, it's a space station, so it's still in space, but it could have been a planet and it wouldn't make a difference, so I considered the central hub to be separate to the space gameplay. So where is the central hub? This is content that has gone untouched for nearly a year. Considering the player is going to keep coming back here quite a lot, I think it's about time I turned my focus to this. I'll talk more about my plans for this in a later video, but in this video, I want to talk about the overall game's structure. So the central hub is a place you'll be returning to a lot, and as the name suggests, I consider it to be located in the center of the game's world. From there, the player will venture out into surrounding space and encounter various activities like resource gathering, hostile NPCs, dungeon-like content via planets or alien space stations, questing, or minigames. That's not the whole list, nor do I promise all of that will be in the final game. These are more just suggestions, but resource gathering and hostile NPCs are already in the game, so you can likely count on them staying there. You could explore endlessly, but I plan to have some soft caps that encourage you to return to the central hub on a regular basis. What I mean by soft cap is a game mechanic that encourages the player to behave a certain way, while a hard cap prevents a player from behaving a certain way. At the moment, the inventory size is the only soft cap currently in the game. Once that is full, you would either need to discard items to make room for others, or return to the central hub to deposit your items into a larger storage that you shouldn't see a limit on. I'm always looking to experiment with more alternative soft caps and eventually land on a combination of mechanics that feel the most fun. Running low on health could be a factor that encourages players to return to the central hub, but currently I've made it easy for the player to craft repair kits with easily accessible materials, so some things would need to change if I want that to be a soft cap. I could have other factors like running out of energy or the pilot getting tired, hungry or thirsty, but I wanted to keep this from becoming too much of a survival game for my liking. The soft cap that I have planned is difficulty. The world is organized into zones, separated based on distance from the central hub. There likely won't be any barriers between zones, so you can freely explore more difficult content, if you can rise to the challenge. The zone you are in will impact the kinds of content you will see. For example, this first zone in the middle will be safe. You won't encounter enemies here. There will be zero risk, but of course, in return, you get bare minimum rewards for engaging with content in this zone. This will be the place to teach the player the basics of the game before encouraging them to explore deeper zones where they will encounter content that has risks such as hostile NPCs, but in return, better rewards than what you could find in the first zone. I can encourage the player in a number of ways, but what I'll probably do is only have a few upgrades to spend resources on that can be found in the first zone. Then I can show the player what upgrades they could get from resources gained in the next zone. The player is still free to stay in that first zone, but their progression will be capped after a certain point. 
At the same time, players looking for a challenge are also free to potentially skip ahead a zone or three. Looking for better resources, but with a greater challenge given their power will be lower than intended. That pretty much sums up what you'll be doing for the entirety of the gameplay. I do have some basic systems to set up these zones of content, which are currently used to spawn asteroids everywhere, and also these chomper enemies only spawn within a certain range from the center of the world, but there isn't anything else that formalizes that structure. Otherwise, there's still a lot from this structure that is missing. I'm still a while away from releasing a demo on Steam, but using this blueprint, I'd like to have about four of these zones, each with some unique content and enough content in the central hub to match. I may also be working on some story too, but I'll be omitting as much of that as I think is necessary for the demo, and only keep enough to provide context for the player's actions. Anyway, there's more I could talk about, but I think I'll cut it here and save some thoughts for a future video. As always, if you have questions, thoughts, or feedback, I'd love to hear about it in the comments or join the Discord server linked in the description. I'm happy to chat and discuss ideas. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to be notified about future videos. Thanks for watching, that's all for now, and I'll see you later.